All righty. I am so excited to see your artwork today. Um, no, Maddie, you're fine. Um, okay, so today we are going to share our um, unit one summative art. Now, I know a couple people um, needed a little bit extra time. So if your artwork is not finished right now, what you will need to do is um, take a photograph picture of your summative artwork and send it to me in an email, okay? Okay, so we will definitely do that, okay? Um, the other thing that we're gonna talk about today at the end of class is your artist statement. So I will go over all of those details at the end of class. But to start our class today, we are going to be sharing our art game. Do you have a question? Go ahead. Can I share first? I will make a list. Um, so if you guys just raise your hand, I will make a list of the order that people want to share. Okay. So Who wants to go after Olivia? So Gabe, Grayson, and Olivia are the only people that are going to share today. Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, Rachel will share after that. Okay. Zoe, good. Sophia. Okay, Melita. Awesome. Okay, we will go to that point. So when you, oh, dang it, Grayson, I didn't mean to send those names all to you in the <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, that was funny. Okay. Okay. There's John. Okay. So sorry. Here's our list. <laughs> Hi, Jihad. Okay. Not to worry. We we're just talking about. Um, that's okay, Trey. We're just talking about our summative piece of art. So we're gonna start with some volunteers and then um, we will just continue through our list. Now, if you, um, if anybody is not quite finished, if you think you can get finished by the end of class today, great. If you um, need a little bit more time, then what you will need to do is you will need to take a photograph of your artwork and send it to me in an email, okay? Um, and then we will also be talking about your artist statement, okay? It, or if you don't have, you know, camera abilities where you can turn on your camera. So when it is time for you to share, you are going to turn your camera on and hold up your piece of art. Then you're going to briefly describe to us what you have included and read your quote or word to us. So just in case we can't see it. And then also what elements of art you included, okay? All right? Is, is, yes. is, our summative, is our summative the one that looks like, kind of like this? It's our, the one yep, it's our uh, yep, it's our motivational okay. poster that we've been working on, yes. All I need to do is just color in the words that I okay, need. Perfect, great. Okay, good. Thanks, Liam. All right, perfect. Um, we're going to get started. Gabe is going to start us off. So um, take it away, Gabe. I, uh, it is colored in, by the way. It's just supposed to be space. So I thought I, for, I didn't really have time to color in all black background because mm -hmm. I I was going to, but then I realized that the colored pencil I was using probably would only get half done. So I thought, why? I'm not going to make it look weird. So it's supposed to be an astronaut, and it's saying courage is being scared but saddling up anyways. 
Because I'm assuming when you go through astronaut camp, you're probably really nervous. I would think so too. What elements of art did you include, Gabe? I included lines, shape, color, and I can't really remember the other ones. Okay. I will put that in the chat as well so that you guys have a reference. Great, great job, Gabe. Okay, next up is going to be Grayson. Okay, my thing I is this. Oh, it's great, Grayson. Um, I chose a heart because I'm like quite peaceful and don't really have any enemies. And mine, I think says, Love is my religion. And uh, I used um, line, shape, and color, but also two other ones, which are shading and blending. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. That's great. That looks really good. Nicely done. Really nicely done. OK, Olivia is up next. Okay, so this is mine. Um, I'll have to be careful with it because it has fresh paint. My hands kind of showed that whole story. But so um, mine says, stop shrinking yourself to fit places you've outgrown. And so I have, like, I don't know if you can see it that well, but I have a little tiny tree fitting in between the cracks of this ledge. And then I have a beautiful, big, bright tree that's shining and looks happy and is huge that is um, outside of it and is actually growing to its full height. And what I used for this was um, color, um, value, line, shape. Um, wait, do I have any form? Yeah, form and texture. I don't think I used space. I do have some use of positive and negative space there, so I think so. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Nicely done. Okay, Rachel is up next. Hello. Yes. I literally just barely finished mine. My hands are still covered in past bell but that is my thing i don't know if you can see it all but it has i my saying my phrase was take nothing but pictures leave nothing but footprints and what i did is i drew in a little footprint in like a polaroid picture with like leaves on the, on the in the background and so i used shape value and color for mine specifically so and another thing that i would like to add is the reason that this saying is important to me okay this is something that means something to me because well <sighs> So when I first went to Yellowstone, that was something that we said, because I really wanted to pick all the flowers. And my my mom was saying, uh, this was something that she continued saying, is take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. And ever since I was like two, I've been a huge environmentalist. So leave nothing but footprints is a big part of it, so that you're not like just throwing trash on the ground and like, everything great rachel i think um just for you and well as for everybody else those are exactly the kinds of things that you will also write in your artist statement as well so keep that in mind when you get ready to sit down to write that artist statement awesome let me just pull up okay next is going to be zoe 
Okay. Um. So, mine. Sorry, I had to move, but um, <laughs> mine is uh, this. We we'll just try everything, and I thought of a river because um. Because when I, when I think of the phrase try everything, I think of Zootopia. Uh, well, Zootopia, I'm not sure how to say it. Yeah, Zootopia, yeah. Um, and how it's kind of like a journey and how you need to try everything on the journey. And um, and I've been done that a lot because my family travels. Um, yeah. And then um, I have a shape because I drew a tiny tree. In the back, you can't really see it, but... No, I can um, see that tree. I think line, color, form, space, because you can tell that the waterfall is really big because the tree is tiny compared to it. And my river goes off the page, so you can tell that it keeps going. Cool. And... Uh, <gasps> I was reading the rubric, and do we have to share our thumbnail sketches, or? So we're going to talk about that when we talk about your artist statement. A lot of people already showed those to me um, last week when we were together. Yeah, and then um, I think that's it. Oh, but I really like my waterfall that I did. Awesome. I mean, I tried to add, like, a kayaker going down mm -hmm. it, but it ended up looking like they were falling. So I, I, it didn't work. Great job, Zoe. Thank you. Okay, next up is going to be Sophia. So I did a snow globe and my quote kind of says, uh -huh. it's through the alignment of the body that I discovered the alignment of the mind, self, and intelligence. Ooh, that's a cool quote. And I drew a snow globe with line, shape, value, and color. And inside is two smiley faces, a dream catcher, and a person. That is awesome, Sophia. Great job. Okay. Uh, next is going to be Melina and then Trey. Who wants to go after Trey? I will. CJ and then Jihad. Okay. Let me just make CJ. Okay, all right. Take it away, Melina. Okay, so mine is um, it's kind of emoji and um, being weird as school. Because um, I heard somewhere like that quote somewhere like um, in short movies and somewhere from teachers, mm -hmm. and I kind of like kind of got is um inspired. But because I'm weird also, um, yes. I use um, color, shape, form, and texture. Great job, Melina. Okay, Trey is up next. For mine, I did a cactus. And I put, never let your future be dry. Never let your fear be your future. And I put that because I, when I was like six or seven, I went to a roller coaster park, and at the time I didn't really like them, and uh, I was kind of forced to go on one. And then after that, I found out that it was really fun, and I did that a lot more often. Uh, yeah. That's really cool, Trey. Can you hold that up one more time? Just so I can see a little bit back. Right there, perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah, then I can kind of see the whole thing. Perfect. Thank you. 
Okay, next up is Jihad. So I did two, I did two things, two quotes. So my first one was um, ha uh, hope. My first one was hope. And uh, my quote was hope is, see, is seeing light in, I forgot the word, uh, in something, in spite of in surrounding. Spite of in spite of surrounded, surrounded by darkness. And my second one was uh, Happy. I wrote a, uh, I don't know if you guys know this movie, it's called Hotel Transylvania. Like at the end when the monster, the song that they put, don't worry. I put the code yeah. on there, don't worry. That's awesome. And uh, on my hope, I draw a little guy stuck surrounded by darkness, but he still had hope. That's awesome. I like all the bright colors that you used and the different fonts as well. Thank you. Nice job, Jihad. Okay, next up is gonna be Brynn. Okay, so this is mine. Um, I don't know <clears throat> what to talk about. <laughs> well, describe it to us first, even though we can see it. Tell us what you included. Um, so let me mute my phone really quick. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it's a hot air balloon and life is short and the world is wide. So like, I guess the hot air balloon kind of describes like you um, floating around in the world, kind of going around it, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Awesome. What elements of art did you include? Um... What are them again? Um, so color, value, line, shape, form, texture, and space. Oh, I think I used color. Yes, you definitely have color. Um, I used line, I think. Mm -hmm. And some shape. I think I probably did a couple more, but I do know some of those. I kind of forget them sometimes. Okay, that's why we took notes on it, remember, so that you could remember it. That's all right. Okay, great job. All right, CJ is up next. So this is mine. I actually have a few quotes, but this first one says, um, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. And it's like a little sports themed. Uh -huh. um, I drew these. And then there's a couple uh -huh. other quotes down here. Um, I actually drew this one not too long ago, but I was proud of myself, so. Yeah, you should be. Those look great. This is actually my color wheel one. Cool. Yeah. And I included color, line, shape, form, and texture. Nice job, CJ. Okay. Who wants to share next? <clears throat> okay. So it looks like some people will need to send me a picture, uh, a photograph of your final art piece. So Maddie, Jackson, Mason, Theo, Mabel, Brooks, Caleb, Avi, Avery, Elliot, Cedar, Liam, Nasili, and Luella. Unless any of you have it ready to share today. Okay, nobody is giving me any response back. So uh, yes, you can still do that, Olivia. Thank you. Um, okay. So I hope that the rest of the class gets their artwork finished or that you're close. Thanks, Vasili. Yeah, if you can just let me know how close you are to being finished, that would be helpful. All right, I am going to now talk to you about your artist statement, okay? So your artist statement is um, a written summary of your work. 
All right, so let me share my screen with you so you can see where it is on your um, on your uh, Google Classroom. Thanks, Cody. Okay, so here we are in our Google Classroom. And here's where I gave you the details for your inspirational poster. Here is the one for your artist statement. There are two documents here. The first one is to help you, okay? So this one you cannot type on. You, it's just going to describe um, what you need to include in your artist statement, okay? So the first one says, describe the artwork. Basically, tell us what we see. All right, so if I were describing the artwork on my water bottle, okay, I would say this piece of art is a water bottle with three stickers, one of the state of Idaho, one with a quote, and one with a flower. The state of Idaho has a river, and we'll talk about those other elements. So then the next thing is explain the emotions, meaning and messages. This is probably the most important of all of the um, steps of the four steps in your artist statement. This is where you're going to say, what was your intended meaning? What were you trying to communicate to the audience? What kinds of emotions were you trying to express? Okay. So if I, for example, if I had made this artwork, I might say I was trying to express maybe the beauty of the state of Idaho. And with the quote, it says, never forget how wildly capable you are. I included that quote to make the audience think of, you know, increasing their self-confidence and being happy and try trying new things. Um, then I might uh, talk about other things that I included, okay? Number three goes along with this. This is where you connect and explain your artistic um, choices with your intended meaning. Like I chose these colors to express a joyful emotion and I chose this font to be smooth and like calm and something like that. You know, I wanted this to stand out. I have little bubbles here that give examples of what you might write in that section. And then number four, this is where you just list the elements of art that you included and like describing them. So I included the element of color by coloring the state of Idaho and using bright colors to express joy. I used line to create my unique fonts. Um, I also have a line here to create the river I use shape to create the flower and the state. And so you're kind of restating exactly what we already expressed when you guys just shared your artwork with me. <clears throat> oh, Mason is ready. Okay, Mason, you can share yours in just a second. So this document here is your helpful guide, okay? The second document is um, for you to have your own individual copy and actually type it in. So you're going to type in um, and answer these questions um, in a lot of detail. And there's a place right here for you to put your name at the top of it, okay? I'm also going to um, share my one of my pieces of art with you. But before I do that, I'm going to let Mason share. Mason, are you ready? Um, I sent a picture. I'm gonna send the uh, um docs. <clears throat> Perfect. I will get that. Are you going to email it to me or post it in our Google Classroom? Email. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yep. I went to my uh one that was due, uh the one that we're talking about right now, the artist statement template mm -hmm. of our often. But I see like uh a note content subject artist choices and I also see like the, the, the whatever it's called. I see like a messed up type. Um I 
maybe just try refreshing it because I was um, playing with the document last class period. And so I was just typing gibberish in to demonstrate where to type. You can just delete that if it's still showing up. I don't know why it's still showing up, I'm sorry. I did. Okay. So sorry. Okay. Oh, that's good. Mason, I haven't gotten yours yet, but um, it might take a second for it to come through. While you are um, emailing that, I will share mine with the class. Okay, so this is one piece of inspirational art that I created. And if I were to be writing my artist statement, first I would explain what you were seeing here. You can see that I have created a moon and a quote and a flower, and I'm using darker colors. So then I will uh, explain some of the emotions, moods, and themes. So the emotion, the main emotion that I wanted to express in this piece is um, recognizing your own beauty and self-confidence, and especially finding beauty in places where you don't think that there is beauty. And so I used some darker colors to connect with the idea of the moon and the night. Um, and then I also used a brighter color for the word beauty to make it stand out. And I really want the, I wanted the audience to get a sense of um, how, you know, sometimes we see our characteristics and we think of them maybe in a negative way, but they are not negative. They are part of what makes us unique and creative and beautiful and wonderful. And so then the next piece, let's talk about, oh, connect and explain. Okay, so my artistic choices. So I included, um, so the font that I chose was a calligraphy style font. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit flowy um, to highlight some of the aspects of beauty. And then I wanted the moon to be the focal point. So I used watercolors and markers to create the moon. And I also wanted to include this unique flower from one of my favorite books that is not a real flower. It's an imaginary flower, but it's, it has to do with beauty and love. And so then the elements of art that I included are shape here with the moon and the flower. Also the use of positive and negative space. I also used color and I also created texture to make the look of the moon here. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of how you would walk through that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Melina. Um, that process with the piece of art. Okay. So let's see if Mason's has come through yet now. Yes, it did. Okay. okay, I'm gonna open this up and I'll share Mason's piece of art with you in just a moment. Okay, here we go. All right, it might be kind of hard to see, but his piece of art says, there are no speed limits to on the road to success. All right, so Mason, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about your piece of art, especially since it's kind of faint. I don't know. I don't really know what to talk about it. What elements of art did you use? Line. Ooh, what else? And color. Mm -hmm. And I notice, I'm not sure, is are those dollar signs that you have included in the background too? Yeah. So that's an example of shape. Okay. So you have line, color, and shape. Why did you um, choose that quote? How does it connect to you? Well, it's sort of a car quote, like for cars, like speed limit. And I like cars. Nice. Excellent. 
Okay, great. Thank you, Mason. Okay, is there any? Okay, bye, Sophia. Sophia has a doctor's appointment. Okay. Um, all right, is there anybody else? Maddie, are you ready to share yet or not quite? Well, mine's like sort of done. I haven't added a ton of cover. I'm still doing like the trees. You want to hold it up and show us what you have so far or would you like to wait? No, I'm painting the black trees right now. Oh, very cool. It's going to have way more color once I actually get white. Okay, great. All right. Is there anybody else that wants to share their piece of art before we finish up today? Okay, Avery, I just want to check in with you. Um, how much of your art do you have finished, Avery? Avery, can you hear me? Avery Himley, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, how much of your um, artwork do you have finished? Do you have your poster finished yet? Okay, so you're still working on it. All right, keep working on that. Okay, yes, AV, good. Oh, I was frozen this evening, I'm sorry. Okay, Jihad, go ahead. Well, this is kind of an outsider kind of question uh -huh. or, or comment because my brother is traveling like after this week. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be at my house and I don't think I'm gonna have any, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have speaker or uh, video. Camera. Okay, that's okay. So can you just, uh, maybe next week, uh, can you just like kind of leave the chat on? So yes, I, I will. I will. Yes, I will. And you can always, um, yeah, you can always um, email me too, Jihad. Thank you. Okay. All right. With that, then that is everything that I have for you guys today. You need to finish that artist statement by Friday, okay? So that's your written um, artist statement. It goes along with your summative, okay? And um, if you did not share your poster with the class today, you will need to take a picture of that and send it to me in an email or post it on Google Classroom um, if you needed a little bit more time, okay? If you have any questions, stick around. If not, you are free to go and have the last few minutes to yourself to work on your um, artist statements. Bye. Bye.